What's going on, y'all? This is Lou. And this is Key, and we're Lil' Key. Today, we're going to be talking to y'all about intentional behavior and how it's important for you to get shit done throughout the day. You know, when you intentional, you not letting life determine which way you move physical or mental like intentional behavior could go for mental spiritual emotional is you letting outside influences dictate how you go from left to right the decisions you make throughout the day do you know what you even want to do in the physical realm when you wake up or you playing defense against everything well i'm gonna get up if such and such flip i'm gonna put the pause on them. Well, I'm gonna take it how I come. I'm gonna get it how I live in this thing. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna, <laughs> you don't wanna be like that because mm -mm. when you do that, you just open the door for anything. You open the door for anything. You wanna be intentional with everything you do. So, one of the things um, that I do when I wake up is I, I set my intentions for the day. So, I do my affirmations um, and. I do something that I call, well, it's called segment intending. So, uh, if I'm getting ready to go to the gym or wherever I'm going, I set the intentions for the day. So, whatever outcome that I want to have, that's what I do. And you and you operate off of the good feeling. So, if it's going to bring you pleasure, then you write that. Um, because if you don't do it, Every time I notice, every time I don't do it, something happens. I either get upset about something or, you know, something something happens. And I, I notice when I do it, things run smoothly because I'm setting the intention. And I believe that when I do that, everything that I write down, it comes back to me. So I think it's based off of what you want to happen. What is your outcome? Yeah. When, yeah. you're, when you're negative about things, negative's gonna come to you. It's just like um, when you go, when you have a meeting at work and you know you don't wanna go to the meeting, right? So you, your attitude towards the meeting is I don't wanna go. You know, I'm tired of this. I don't get paid enough to do this on my days off. I don't get, you know, I don't wanna go to this. So you set the intention of it being the most the hor a horrible experience, you know, and then you, what could have happened didn't happen because you're negative, you know. Yep. You don't want to be negative. You wanna you wanna set the intention, and everything has to be intentional. When you love somebody, let that be intentional. When you have you develop business relationships, let that be intentional. Everything throughout your day has to be intentional. From the food you eat to everything. It has to have purpose. If it doesn't have purpose or meaning, then you have to give it meaning. Yeah. It's like the physical, the body, the mind, this vessel that we in, it's always going to be a disconnect from our essence, which is our energy. So that's why you said segment intent. Like, it's important to connect who we are with this physical manifestation of us on this world. So we got to connect the two in order to make the right decisions, in order to complete the tasks that we know need to be completed. We can't move off of whoever, whatever, however, like, it's going to go high, it's going to go... But I got a question for you, though. Mm -hmm. So say if you started out your day horrible, mm -hmm. is there any way you can turn it around before the day is over with? Oh, yeah, you can turn it around if you... <laughs> you can't. You can turn it around. I mean, if it's not too late, because if you start out like that, chances, chances, the chances of you having a, a better day mm. is slim. I'm not saying it can't happen, you guys. I'm not saying that. But the chances of having a better day after you done went the whole day, you've gained momentum. So 
what started out as not so good can be halfway the worst day you ever had because you didn't stop it when it happened. So when I mean stop it, um, I mean, you got to think of the most, how I want to put it, the, the most general way that you can put it. So I'm not saying that you just go from being angry and then try to be positive. What I'm saying is you gotta you gotta get out of that headspace, get get away from those thoughts of you accept it, right? Okay, yes, I'm having this kind of thought and you move forward. Right? Yeah. You move forward with I don't have to think about this right now. It's not that important or you think of something that makes you happy. This is why it's very important that you start your day off with with some form of meditation, affirmation. Um, so, so you got to write it down. Be intentional, yeah. right? I, I, I say uh, segment, segment intended because I got that from um, a speaker, you know, and that's a good, that helped me, you know, and I think that'll help help other people, help people to, to set the pace for the day. And your intentions is just what you want to happen. What do you want to happen? What Like, when you go to the store, what do you want to happen? When you go to the gym, what do you want to happen? When you, you know, do whatever, go to work, what do you want to happen? Yep. And you set that pace, and then if something, not saying that bad things won't happen, because I know a lot of people, you guys out there, well, what about the car wreck on the way? Or what about... Bad things, contrasts will happen. Those are bound to happen. It's what you do and how you handle those things. It took me a long time to, to understand that. Things are going to happen. You can't prevent them from happening. You're not God, okay? You're not God, all right? God, God lives inside of you, yes, through spirit, but you're not God himself. So you can't just put point your finger and say, Fix that and it's fixed. But what you can do is you can create your reality Facts. for yourself. Facts. You know, can't control other people, but you can control yourself. And when you can control yourself, you control your out your your environment because everything is going to align with you. So you want to be intentional. And then, to me, that influences other people when you're intentional about how you want to feel and how what that means to you. Then other people will be like. Well, you know what? I didn't think of it like that. You know? Yeah, you're but right. What, but what if they try to knock you down? No, face. Like, how you coming with it then? Can that affect your energy? Can that penetrate? If you don't know who you are, it will. Because you're giving up your essence. Mm, and to people that don't deserve it. Yeah. So how do you guard mm. yourself again? Like, do you give it to them? Because mm. I struggle with that right now. Like, you know, I'm... I'm in the process of working on how I'm coming with it. And so when I wake up, it's easier for me to lead out of anger and aggression mm -hmm. than, like, this morning I woke up, segment and tenant, and it felt good. Like, I know it worked. But then for some reason, it's easier for me to pull up some negativity because it's, it it drives me, you know? But I know the positivity is what I need in my life. So what can people work on? Tell them what you tell me to do. Yeah, you just gotta go general. When you do that, you go general. Yeah. You you don't have to think about that right now. What, you what, what um, Tell them what you mean, though. Like go, when you go general, that means that you make a general <clears throat> thought about what you're feeling. Because all it is is a feeling. You, you're feeling something different than what you should be feeling, which means that your spirit is connected to God, right? So when you're feeling something that doesn't feel right, that means that your spirit is troubled by it. And so when you troubled by it, that means that you expected something that didn't happen. You expected yourself to be 
to get up. Okay, yeah, I got going, but then all of a sudden a thought comes, and then you you you're driven off of that anger or that aggression or that misunderstanding or that like well, it, it's just like when a person calls you that you haven't heard from in a long time, and then they call you and you already know that they get ready to call you with something that you know that probably ain't even true, probably some gossip, but just trying to figure out what you're doing. Yeah. That feeling that you get, that feeling like you you wasn't expecting that. You expected something different, and then that happened, so it moved you, it made you feel upset and angry. Then you start thinking about all the things that person did and what they said and all of that. You got to go general. Just get yourself out of that, out of that, that thought and get yourself because the more you feel good the more you allow and you want to allow good things to come to you when you don't allow good things to come to you then all the bad uh you have no filter at that point because then you just start letting it and it's rolling and it's rolling and it's rolling so then you start point you pointing out you wake up you angry you hit your toe you hit your your kneecap you hit your you, you got toothpaste on your shirt you just angry you know you don't want to be like that that's real man. Yep. i think you know you need to go more in depth with them about generalizing thoughts because it's a deep concept you know, we didn't make up the concept, you know, just to let you know, but that's that's how we coming with it. But um, we're going to holler at y'all next time. This is Low. This is Key, and we're Low Key. All right.